In the 13th century, Santander, which since its beginnings was integrated into the old maritime route, was a strategic port for the expansion of the Crown of Castile. Raw materials and manufactured goods came in through the port, but also merchants and pilgrims from other parts of Europe. I am not surprised that since ancient times this place was chosen by Roman emperors and Castilian kings to dock their ships. From here they defended the frontiers and dominated the fishing and trade routes that enlarged their domains. Behind the ship, we can see the Magdalena Peninsula. The extensive home oak grove that once covered the peninsula was replaced by maritime pines at the beginning of the 20th century, when the royal palace was built on the top of the hill. To enter the port of San Emeterio ships first had to sail past El Sardinero and then round the Magdalena Peninsula. The Bay of Santander, facing the south, is protected from strong winds and tides. There we see the beach where we are now on and the walled section behind us. It was thanks to the Fuero, granted by King Alfonso, victor of the Battle of Las Navas, and Queen Leonor Plantagenet, that the wall was erected. Eight hundred years ago, ships entered the city through the mouth of the Besido River. On the left bank you can see the old castle which has not survived to this day. I can see that the privileges enjoyed by its residents have made this port one of the most important in the kingdom. Fishermen, merchants, shoemakers, sculptors, carpenters, blacksmiths. So much activity is amazing. I am anxious to see the lives of the people on the other side of this gate, known as the Sea Gate. Come with me. Now we will follow in the pilgrims' footsteps. <laughs>